Greetings fellow men, Servus Männer, it's Red Pill Germany again and today I want to talk about gynocentrism backfiring or how it is self-defeating actually. Now the case I want to discuss today is taking place in North Rhine-Westphalia which is a federal state of uh, the German Federation and it is basically this state, Nord rhine westfalen or North Rhine-Westphalia where most of the crazy stories you hear about from Germany are actually happening. Cologne, for example, is situated in North Rhine-Westphalia. Now another source of these uh, crazy SJW regressive left gynocentric feminist stories would be Berlin, of course. Bremen is uh, just as bad, but Bremen is a much smaller city-state, so um, not that many crazy stories making the news, even though Bremen is basically ruled by um, a Muslim a mafia clan, actually. So I want to talk about North Rhine-Westphalia a little more in the future maybe. But um, today specifically I want to talk about uh, this one example where there is actually a little revolution going on in the state of North Rhine-Westphalia where um, the bureaucracy and um, some of the pillars of um, the state basically are openly or less openly uh, revolting against the gynocentric agenda of Hanne Lore Kraft, the uh, Ministerpräsidentin or the Governor of North Rhine-Westphalia. Now the basic story is as follows. You might all know that in many Western countries, such as Germany also, you have laws in place uh, in the public service that say if a man and a woman are both applying for the same job or for a promotion and they're both equally qualified, then the woman should be hired or promoted. So this is a standard affirmative action law that uh, should elevate women or empower women with respect to men. Now we're all used to that, that if the woman is equally qualified that she gets to be hired or promoted. We really have gotten used to that and even though it is open discrimination and unconstitutional I think, um, this is common practice here. But that didn't go far enough for the cabinet and the leadership in North Rhine-Westphalia. Um, as you can see on the pictures maybe, there are a lot of crazy unattractive women in uh, the government there and um, they noticed that in some branches of the state, such as the police force or the firefighters or the um, tax and financial administration also, there is just no 50-50 between men and women in leadership positions even though you have these gynocentric women favoring uh, laws as I just mentioned. So last year they decided to go one step further. Now they changed the law and a woman is given um, the promotion or the job and not only if she is equally qualified to a male competitor, no, if she is basically or generally equally qualified. So what that should mean and what they say it should mean is actually, um, you know, there is always a certain bandwidth, you know, a certain interval of um, competence, of education, of certifications, qualifications that you should have. There is a minimum requirement and most of the time there is a maximum requirement where people would say, okay, you're clearly overqualified for this job. You, you, you should um, apply for something else, right? Um, so that means if the man would be at the upper limit of that band and the woman would be just scratching on the lower limit where you just meet the very basic requirements for the job, then even in this case where the man is clearly much more qualified and has much more experience, even then the woman should get the promotion or the job. And this is of course, as you, as I, I mean, I don't have to explain that to you guys, I think, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Like there is a guy with 10 years of job experience and a PhD and then a woman with a bachelor's degree with zero uh, job experience should get the job just because she's a woman. That is absolutely crazy. And um, this is not some um, gender studies office or some um, family blah blah blah. No. This is police, this is um, financial administration, tax administration, vital, important, hardcore um, domains, you know, where the survivability of the state, where the interest of the state uh, in hardcore disciplines, where you need 
actual tangible skills is affected. Like just imagine a firefighter, a policeman or some guy in the financial administration who doesn't know his shit. Uh, people will suffer. Yeah, uh, This is not some uh, hot air producing um, leftist think tank stuff, you know, where you would uh, just produce some text and some you have some initiative to empower women blah 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 you don't need qualifications there but if you talk about police work if you talk about the financial administration of a country then you need tangible skills and if you then hire um, not so qualified people less qualified people uh, then you have a problem and we already have that as I said in the beginning but they go one step further now once again when a woman is obviously less qualified, but generally, you know, <laughs> making the basic requirements, meeting the base requirements for the job, she should get the job. And now the administration is in open revolt. There were several officers, male officers, who um, sued against that. And um, people fear that there will be a deadlock for uh, both uh, promotion in the public sector in uh, North Rhine-Westphalia and also there will be a big legal battle that could go uh, through uh, all the um, instances, it could go up to the constitutional court actually, the Supreme Court equivalent basically. So how does this revolt look like? So for example, um, uh, higher ups in the police force just openly ignore the decree and uh, they say this is unconstitutional anyway and we ignore this and this is really uh, for German standards this is uh, this kind of insubordination is uh, very remarkable actually and uh, the financial administration for example what they did um, they just before that law was enacted they um, um, promoted over a thousand men you know to fill up all these positions you know and uh, they are really um, uh, anxious now because uh, several hundred highly qualified men have been um, relegated for hundreds of positions uh, downwards on the uh, promotion lists right so there is a list and you you, you go ahead to the top on these lists and when you're on the top you get promoted and uh, just because they're men uh, they have been taken several hundreds positions down which means they will never get promoted for practical purposes and uh, these are highly qualified men that they need so um, what could happen for example so in the future uh, with this law we could come to a situation where people actually um, in the administration would give women worse grades uh, on purpose because they know if they would give them the normal grade that they would give them at their performance level, uh, she would be given um, the promotion over a man who is even more qualified. So let's say a man would have a score of 9 and the woman would get a score of 5 normally and the superior officer knows that that woman with a score of 5 would beat that man with the higher score so he gives the woman a score of just 2 to make sure that the better person, the qualified person actually gets the promotion and that would hurt that woman if she wanted to make a lateral move for example in the administration, right? She would get a lower grade than uh, she actually would earn and the other thing is then that um, women would be uh, struggling more than today even with the um, stigma of being a woman uh, that we call Quotenfrau, that means quota woman or affirmative action hire basically so uh, if a woman is in a leadership position everyone would say oh she's just there because she's a woman she doesn't really know what she's talking about without these affirmative action laws she wouldn't be in that position but a man would and if you make these uh, laws even more um, stacked up and discriminating against qualified men then of course this discourse, this narrative and this idea or this um, suspicion of, of, about the woman being only an affirmative action hire will get much much stronger.
right? So there are actually highly qualified women, of course, who would in a meritocratic system also make their way uh, through the ranks, right? And those women are now also um, opposing this legislation and said, I mean, I don't want to be lumped together with all these unqualified part-time chicks who just want to be in leadership roles. I mean, they really expect to work part-time and be uh, in the highest um, leadership positions. That is just ridiculous. That shouldn't happen. You cannot get the experience and the knowledge you need if you work part-time. It's not possible. So uh, that is where it's going, right? Um, they're so entitled that they want to work part-time and be in the upper leadership role. Yeah? And this is not where it stops, you know. It doesn't stop there. The craziness doesn't stop there. This uh, religion of uh, equality and participation rights goes that far that in North Rhine-Westphalia they actually say we need more migrants now in the police force. We, we need more North Africans in the police force. When it is the North Africans who commit the crimes, you know, their response to that is, oh, if we had more of that uh, group in the police force, we could do much more efficient police work to deal with their problems, you know. So they see these aggressive criminal communities as allies in solving the problems and not as as the source of the problem or the adversary and so <laughs> their response to criminal migrants is promote them to be chief of police basically that is their answer it's, it's absolutely crazy and um, now we're in a situation as I said we're already the good party soldier uh, administrative uh, management elite is rebelling against the course of the administration in North Rhine-Westphalia and there is a big legal battle ahead of us and um, maybe this government which is already the second government under Hannelore Kraft so we call it Kraft 2 the second cabinet and with all this unrest and with all this um, yeah also financial disaster but also a disastrous security situation in that state it is highly unlikely that she will get a third term so um, maybe especially in North Rhine-Westphalia um, even um, more established migrants like people from the Balkan and some Turks uh, might vote against her now because this level of craziness would probably go too far even for them. So this is an example how gynocentrism uh, can backfire not just in itself when women hit the wall or when nature or karma basically uh, demands it's a pound of flesh but um, also in a hierarchy um, when you go too far uh, with trying to um, uplift or to empower um, irresponsible, weak and parasitic uh, groups, the people who actually have to get the job done in the end will rebel because they will have colleagues in the end who can't do the job and they will be criticized for all the blunders uh, that um, these incompetent people commit under their leadership and they will revolt against that. They will not uh, tolerate this, that um, there are qualified people that they could hire but they're not allowed to hire them because of their skin color or their sex. Uh, it's very frustrating for the leadership uh, in these administrative organizations right now that they cannot get qualified people even though they're available. Because Hannelore Kraft and her crazy SJW say, oh no, you have to hire a woman of color instead. And then you have to substitute a 50-year-old uh, PhD in economics who maybe has 30 years of experience under his belt for a maybe 23-year-old bachelors in gender studies, right? This is not to be tolerated by the administration in Germany and um, I heard uh, that in reactionary circles <laughs> or neo-reactionary circles actually, this uh, part of society is called the cathedral. So the um, administration, the people who uh, run everything, who manage everything, not the political leadership really, but um, the bureaucracy basically. Also teachers, police policemen, administrative officers, the people who make the system run basically and uh, they are revolting now in North Rhine-Westphalia. The people who sued were police officers for example. The people uh, more upwards in the hierarchy um, are also um, ignoring these orders, these decrees now 
and uh, they just say, well, it's unconstitutional, I ignore that stuff, right? Or they just grade women differently because they know that uh, if they grade them fairly, um, the more qualified men will not get the job. Or uh, another option is also that the job description is written so detailed and so specialized that only the one um, person you already have in mind requires uh, meets the requirements and uh, another person really can't but um, that really means that uh, outsiders don't really have a chance anymore because if you want to have a qualified person and not some affirmative action uh, lady uh, you actually have to already years uh, in advance build up your candidate and focus on this one and uh, make sure he has the skills you then write in the job application or in the uh, description of what you want so you make sure that only this one person can meet these requirements which then leads of course to a more close stagnant system and uh, which also hurts us in the long run so I think there are only losers here um, but the biggest losers are of course the uh, people of North Rhine-Westphalia because this is one of the beauties of a uh, federation uh, we have competition in Germany between the states and in Bavaria we're not that crazy uh, we're still crazy enough but not that crazy so uh, people who actually want to do good work they can uh, come here you know they can come to Baden-Württemberg they can come to Thuringia they can come to Saxony they can come to Bavaria and many of them do actually it just annoys me that they bring their SJW mentality to our southern states or to the eastern states and they vote in leftist governments than there so um, they should really meditate on that one they should think about why they came here as economic migrants basically why our system is better why we have more jobs and not bring their voting patterns to our more conservative states but that is a topic for a different video maybe so um, yeah let me know about what is happening in your country as always in the comments and I hope you enjoy your weekend Servus Kameraden